hello friends welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine so on that note let's start this video so here i'm going to give you solutions for week 5 assignment of data science for engineers course friends i hope every solution is 100 percent correct uh, but if there are any suggestions regarding change of answers you can please ask me in the comment section you can suggest me if there is if you differ from what i have given so these are the probable solutions but i think almost every question is correct if there is any uh, doubt i will uh, mention you in this video itself so moving on to the first question guys before that please watch the video till the end because if you skip you may miss some content or if i change any solution you may not be able to note the note the change so do watch till the end first question which of the following statement is or are not true with respect to the multivariate optimization here they have given not true it means which are the false statements here so generally the gradient of a function at a point is parallel to the contours actually what uh, i have got is it should be perpendicular not parallel so here they have given parallel so it is not true so first option is correct so here then automatically second and fourth option will be eliminated because there is no one here so it should be a battle between the first and third options so let's see the other one so here in the fourth option hessian is not a symmetric matrix but hessian is a symmetric matrix so it is also false statement so the probable answers are option 3 1 and 4 <coughs> and moving on to the second question the solution to an unconstrained optimization problem is always the same as the solution to the constrained one guys actually i have some small doubt here so i think there will be different solutions for convex and the convergence one so i think the given statement is false so guys you can suggest you, your answers if you think that any question is has to be changed so i think the false statement it is a false statement <coughs> And moving on to the third one, gradient based algorithm methods compute. So definitely these two are not the answers and we have to compute in the formula it will uh, they will mention both the step size and also the direction. So I think second option is the correct one. And moving on to the fourth question, for a unconstrained multivariate optimization given fx bar, the necessary second order condition for x bar star to be the minimizer of fx. So the most probable solution for fourth question is second option, it must be positive definite. And moving on to the fifth one, guys here actually for fifth, sixth, seventh and also eighth questions it will depend on this equation only. So fx1 comma x2, give, uh, the equation is x1 square plus 4x2 square minus 2x1 plus 8x2. So the first question for uh, I mean for according to this equation that is fifth question which among the following is a stationary point for f x1 comma x2 i mean uh, they mean that uh, they are asking the stationary point for this function so when i did this uh, i have got the answer for fifth question as option b 1 comma minus 1 so mark second option <coughs> and moving on to the sixth question find the eigenvalues corresponding to hessian matrix of f so here what is f f is uh, this equation we have already mentioned that 
from fifth to eighth questions it based on this equation only so they are asking to find the not hessian matrix they are asking to find eigen values corresponding to the hessian matrix of f so when i did this i have got the eigen values as 2 and 8 so which option it is third option 2 comma 8 and moving on to the seventh question find the minimum value of f i mean uh, the, we have to find we have to find the minimum value of that f of x1 comma x2 equation so when i did this i have got the answer as minus 5 so second option is the probable answer and moving on to the eighth one what is the minimum value of f function subject to the constraint x1 plus 2 x2 equal to 7 actually we are using the same function but here we have got an extra constraint it means constraint means nothing but condition so within this given condition what will be the minimum value of f without this condition we have got uh, minus 5 so with including this condition what should be the minimum value so the answer is third option 27 27 is the minimum value within the given constraint x1 plus 2 x2 equal to 7 so third option and moving on to the ninth question find the maximum value here there will be no minimum value the minimum value does not exist so maximum value of f of x from here onwards it's not based on that equation it here they have given different equation f of x y equal to 49 minus x square minus y square and the constraint x plus 3y equal to 10 so the maximum value i have got i have got is 39 so mark option 4th fourth option is the correct one and moving on to the final question of the assignment consider an optimization problem x square minus xy plus y square so they have given three constraints so the probable answer for 10th question may be third option x square minus xy plus y square so i mean ex, uh, directly given equation it is common in every option plus mu1 of <coughs> if we send this one to left hand side and two also the same and this minus 1 will give x plus 1 so all the constraints fulfilled in only one option that is third option so mark third option as probable answer <coughs> so friends these are the solutions for week 5 assignment <coughs> hope this video is helpful for you if you feel the same please keep sup supporting our channel like this video share this video to your friends and also subscribe our channel so if you want to suggest any changes to the solution you can do that in the comment section so we'll try to give the best solution to our viewers so for further more videos like this keep supporting our channel until then goodbye thank you